Hi, my name is Rick Sanchez. I'm with a company called Tractor Tip, and what we have for sale here today is a Caterpillar 941. It's a Series B uh, crawler loader. The serial number on this tractor is uh, 80H307, and we'll leave that last number blank. We're going to talk a little bit about the mechanics of this particular machine on the first clip, the operating specs in the second, we'll run it in the third. Price on a new machine like this these days, of course, they don't build tractors like this anymore. I mean, this is a great machine. It wasn't of the day, it was state of the art, but, and there's still a lot of them out there running, but uh, if you were to get this size track loader these days, it would be about $250,000, believe it or not. Um, this machine has got an hour meter reading of 81, which is obviously incorrect, but uh, that's what it says nonetheless. As far as manufacturers go, Caterpillar is number one in the manufacturing and sale of heavy construction mining equipment, and that's not because they're cheap. They build one of the best, most solid, reliable products out there. The weight of this particular unit is about 25,000 pounds. The widest point is actually this bucket right here, which is uh, six foot eight inches. The highest point is the top of this smokestack right here, which is nine foot. If you were to take this smoke, uh, smokes, uh, this muffler off for transport purposes, the highest point would be the top of this uh, little roll bar right there, and that's seven foot. The transportation length from the front of that tooth all the way to the back of this counterweight is 15 feet. Comparable machines are maybe like a Cat 953 or maybe an old John Deere uh, uh, 555. As far as the history of this unit goes, this machine, believe it or not, is a uh, an original owner Dallas, Texas machine with uh, very little, no rust. I mean, you've got surface rust here, but that's just from where the paint's rubbed off. We're far enough south and 300 miles from the ocean, so we don't deal with salt or uh, acidic. Uh, we're never in salt, I guess. Just the only salt we see is the salt on our kitchen tables. This machine uh, came from a, from a guy that, uh, an older gentleman that had a small sand and gravel pit that uh, pretty much worked the land all of his life. And uh, anyway, he's older and he's subdividing the property out and we bought a bunch of machines off of him and this is, <laughs> this is one of his old favorites. He was well organized. He took care of his equipment. And uh, we've been happy with all the machines that we bought from him over the years. It should be said that before I buy any machine, I have my mechanics thoroughly inspected. And then I go out and I inspect it before I write a check. As far as options go, as you can tell, it's open cab. So it's automatic AC. The faster you go, the cooler, cooler you get. As far as the engine goes, I guess we we uh, probably should we'll, we'll raise this engine here in a little bit and we'll show you show it to you in a little more depth. But this is a Caterpillar 3304 80 horsepower diesel engine. Uh, that is a popular engine. As a matter of fact, this model engine is still in manufacture is still being manufactured today. Again, it's an 80 horsepower uh, diesel engine, 3304. This unit, uh, you can put 40 gallons in the fuel tank. It's a 40 gallon tank. And that'll run you about 10 to 12 hours of uh, operation depending on your application. All the fluids on this tractor are where they should be. This machine is mechanically sound. And absolutely everything works on it. There's no leaks. Transmission runs through all the gears without hesitation. Top speed is uh, seven miles per hour in forward and reverse. 
The undercarriage, as you can see, is about 85%. Final drives have got plenty of power, enabling the machine to counter rotate. I guess as far as things that are wrong with the machine, it does not have a cab, or a, it doesn't have a cab and it doesn't have a, uh, a ROPS. ROPS is short for a rollover protection device. Um, the other thing that's I guess you could consider wrong with the machine is that it doesn't have any working lamps on it right now so if you're gonna use it at night you'd probably want to rig it up with some work lamps um, I guess that's about all I can think of that's wrong with the machine so you can see these teeth here are about 95 percent uh, these adapters and teeth are readily available today um, as far as this bucket goes, uh, the bucket width again is six foot eight inches. It's six foot eight inches wide. It's three foot eight inches tall, and it's two foot five inches deep. This is probably about a yard and a quarter to a yard and a half bucket. The breakout force on this bucket is fourteen thousand two hundred twenty pounds. And the lifting capacity is 16,000 pounds. The lifting capacity on this loader is limited by its, uh, kind of by the weight of the machine on this fulcrum right here. The machine will actually tilt forward before the hydraulics give out, so um, anyway, uh, as far as the shoe width is concerned, these shoes are, they're 14 inches wide. Um, you've got eight foot five inches of track width on the ground, and uh, oh, thanks. Is that about it? You also got a place for a canopy there. Oh, you got a place for a canopy up here. Put a fancy, fancy canopy up there. Um, that's about it. We're gonna. I can't really run it too much because you can see we. Pretty, we just got a bunch of rain, so I don't want to tear up our property too much. Uh, we're going to show you the engine running, and uh, then I'll show you the cab, and we'll run it. All right, so this is uh, just to show that all the gauges are working. The way you kill this thing is you just... Let's see, all the gauges will go back to... Oh, they already dropped. This is your uh, battery disconnect switch here. This is your forward and reverse. This is your uh, RPM, engine RPM. This is uh, uh, forward, first, second, third, first, second, third, and reverse. Everything works. This is your safety lever there locks it out so uh, basically you turn this on this is your start switch right here Disconnect this battery. This is your uh, work lamps, but as I said earlier, it doesn't have any work lamps. So, there's your fuel. Pretty much it. It's a good, good running little loader.
these are the engine access panels. We got mud on them. It's just mud. These panels right here go to uh, that loader. That loader right there is about a size smaller than that 953. Of course, that 953 is a 2005. And that loader right there, I'll sell you for 195,000.